For the Bismarck Mandan Symphony Orchestra and the concert series this year is titled Dreamscapes. With me to run through the season and highlight this week's performance is a conductor of the orchestra, Dr. Beverly Everett. Good morning. Good morning, Wayne. I would imagine this is a pretty exciting time of year for you getting it all started and back on the road. It always is, yes. Okay, let's start with the, the overall picture. Dreamscapes is what this season is called. Give me a feel for the season. What's it all about? Well, it's a wonderful mixture of old and new. Mm -hmm. So we start out with a really purely traditionally classical concert. And then throughout the season, it's kind of uh, seasoned with different music of different periods of sure. time. Some newer things, some older things. The title Dreamscapes actually came from the title of a piece we're doing in October called The Gift of Dreams. Okay, so you're going to have uh, uh, all about dreams including Disney, Christmas, Celtic, uh, Dreaming Big. It all ties together. So how do you come up with the concept for this or is this, some, is this something that you dr dream up? You know, it's interesting. Sometimes it happens from a piece of music sure. that someone has suggested that they want to play, and then it kind of organically grows around that. And that's exactly what happened this season. There's a pianist who had been talking with me about collaborating, yeah. and he wants to play a contemporary concerto that's called The Gift of Dreams. And go. I loved that idea, and so that then kind of emerged the rest of the season. Okay, and this Saturday is at 7.30 at the Bell Bay Hughes, and it, and it highlights some of the great composers of all times. It does. Mozart and Mendelssohn. I'm delighted to just present this almost a light program. You know, sometimes we do some more bombastic types of music, mm -hmm. and this is just that purely classical music, and we're featuring this incredible violinist, yeah. Ace Lenoski, who's coming to us from Boston. Our audience members will probably recognize Aislinn because she's been sneaking in sometimes and playing in the back oh, of our right? sections. And she's just So a, how, what's the connection, Doctor, as far as how did she get involved with the Bismarck Mandan Symphony from Boston? She is a colleague of our concert master, I Dr. See. Murchie. Okay. And so Dr. Murchie had told her about Bismarck and, and she wanted to come see what it was all about and has enjoyed playing with us. And just knowing the artist that she is, sure. we wanted to feature her. So getting to perform this Mendelssohn Concerto, which is one of the premier concertos that anybody that's trying to study violin in college or even high school at a certain level and onwards is going to play the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto in E minor. So you often hear it play by younger students and that sort of thing. And to, so to hear that piece played by someone of Aislinn's stature is right. going to really, I mean, sometimes we say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity because we want people to come to the concert, but this really is. Interesting. On my notes, the next thing I was going to ask her, I was going to say, Dr. Everett, you call this a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to, to hear this performed by such an accomplished person. Um, you're excited about this. This isn't just some false bravado here. This is a big deal. It is a really big deal, and I hope people of all ages will come, you know, especially those young people mm -hmm. who might be working on this piece themselves. What a great opportunity. Okay. Now the shows go on. It starts this Saturday, but goes on until I think there are, there are performances that are scheduled throughout the Dream Series. That is going to go through April, right? Sometime yes. in April. So people have some ticket opportunities too. You can go just one performance, uh, or you can. There are various options you can get for a very different series of of performances throughout the season. Yes, we have uh, two different ticket packages. So you can buy, of course, individual tickets for each concert, sure. or you can buy a full season, or you can do something called pick three. And that enables people who travel or right. people who winter outside of Bismarck uh, to, to still be able to enjoy us and support the orchestra. And we have such an eclectic program. Sure. You know, we have Pops concerts, we'll have our Christmas concert, sure. we'll have movie concerts. Um, our Celtic concert was so popular last year great. that we turned that into a double. So we have a Friday and Saturday night okay. concert for that again, doing a little bit more of a popsish concert for that one as well. We're looking forward to it. It's always a, it's, it, what a great thing that you offer the Bismarck Mandan community or, and surrounding communities to come and take part in this. And, and it all starts Saturday night. What time is uh, the first performance on Saturday night? 
The performance is at 7.30. If you want to get there early at 7 p.m., I do a pre-concert talk with Aislinn oh, cool. um, just to kind of set up the concert. And that's in a little room that you'll be directed there if you come in by 7 and want to hear that. And otherwise, the concert's at 7.30. Sounds great, Dr. Beverly Over. Thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us, and good luck with not only Saturday night, but the entire